Today, we're going to be fishing for over six hours with glow worms so that we can figure some stuff out. We're going to try to figure out the percent chance odds of catching the regular fish, the uncommon, the rare, and the even rarer, whatever that's called. We're going to figure out if this is worth it for gold per hour, just raw before cooking it, and also... I want to see how much experience points we can earn with 100% focus. So, let me just give you the quick rundown of what I'm going to be doing. Right now my fishing level is 21, my focus earning percent is 100%, which is high as it currently gets in the game, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 734 glowworms. Now, in this game, I can fish about... Two fish per minute at my fastest. Obviously, I'm going to be taking breaks. I'm going to be watching movies on another monitor. I'm going to be, you know, not entirely paying attention to the game. So I might miss a few fish here and there. But for the most part, I can wang jangle my fishing, you know, catch circle around and get most of the fish. <laughs> I'm not bad at fishing. But if I can catch two fish per minute with 734 glow worms, we divide that by two. That means that I have 367 minutes worth of glowworms. If we divide that by 60, that's how many minutes are in an hour. That is over six hours of fishing. And what I'm going to do is show you all of the results of what I caught. Uh, currently, in my stash, there are no fish at all. So there's no funny hanky-panky business going on here. No fish. No fish in this storage either. Um, what is in here? Oh, I got some spices because I didn't want to cook them. Uh, but, I'm, it, this is going to take all day. This is going to take, like, my entire day. Just sitting here with a fishing pole and fishing. I'm not going to use food buffs. I'm not going to go out in public. I'm going to fish right here in this pond on my personal land plot. So I won't be receiving any buffs. I'm not using the buff for a fishing attachment. I won't be using food buffs either. Now let me give you a quick info dump for those that don't know about pond fishing. You can fish in any pond in any part of the world, Kalima Village, Bahari Bay, or your own little personal land plot. I'm doing the land plot so I don't get bothered and get crashed out, and it's just easier for me because I have a lot of crops I want to tend to while I do fishing. I'm close to my storage, I can grab more food, and, and it's, just, it's just easier for me. But let me share with you some data here. I'm only using glowworm fish from the pond, and I'm only going to fish during the dawn and daytime to min-max our earnings. Because we can catch scarlet koi and mottled goby, these are your common fish. Uh, they're 85 gold each. Uncommon fish is the stalking catfish, but you can only catch this at dusk and nighttime, worth 125 gold. But, the cloudfish, which is the rare fish, you can only catch it during dawn and daytime. That's 210 gold each. The epic fish is the giant goldfish at 410 gold. This is the best fish in the game to sell and cook with and so on and so forth. So that's why I'm fishing in the pond. It is more gold per hour than anywhere else in the game. Now here's the times for those that don't realize it. 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. is dawn. It lasts 7.5 real life minutes. Daytime 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 30 minutes. Dusk is 6 to 9 p.m. 7.5 minutes again. And then nighttime is only half as long as daytime which is interesting. I thought it would be more equal, but whatever. I don't really know how the world works. 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. is considered nighttime. It's only 15 minutes. So from dusk to night, I get to take like a 22 and a half minute break, basically, and go do something else. But for that 37 and a half minutes, I will be fishing. And so I've got six hours of fishing to do. It's now 3 a.m., uh, which means it's time to start fishing. And no, I'm not going to record the entire six hours. I'm not going to speed it up. I don't have enough storage space on the computer, and that would just be miserable to edit. That would, it would kill my computer, I'm sorry. I'm just going to skip ahead in time and show you my progress. Listen, look at this. Okay, first catch model goby, second catch of the day, giant goldfish. We already got one. Oh boy, it's a lucky day. Oh, and just to show my fishing level is currently 21, you can see here's the progress bar. We're just going to jump ahead in time and see how much this levels up. All right, it has been way more than six hours. You have to account for the fact that at nighttime I can't fish. It's It's been about 12 hours real lifetime. All right, let's get into the numbers. There's a lot of numbers to cover. This is how much fish we caught. I'm just going to show you on the screen here in the text form. 
734 total fish in six hours of fishing time, not entirety of real life passing time. Out of the common fish, we have 333 mottled goby, 353 scarlet koi, worth 28.3k and 30k respectively. For rare fish, we had 41 cloudfish, worth 8,610, and for the epic fish, we got 7 giant goldfish, worth 2,870. So in, in total, in the 6 hours that we actually played, we earned 69,790 gold. If you divide that by 6 hours, that's 11,632 gold per hour, which is half as efficient as hunting. So fishing for pure gold, not worth it at all. Here's the percentages. So here's the formula. You take the amount of caught fish, you divide it by the total fish caught, and you, you multiply it by 100 to get the percent. So, common fish has a 93.46 chance of being caught. Rare fish is 5.585% chance, and epic fish is less than 1. It is 0.953% chance. Of course, these may not be the exact percentages, but these are the percentages that I got in six hours of fishing so um you know if most devs will probably round these numbers up at some point you know make common 95 percent make or let's say you make rare 96 percent and epic one percent then that leaves it at common at a 92 percent or something right or 93 i don't know but you get the idea this is this is pretty darn close this is six hours worth of testing if we wanted to really, really, really nail down the percent odds, we would have to do hundreds of hours of testing and collaborate with other creators and share a spreadsheet. And, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, this is close enough. Also, for fishing levels, it's been a long, I don't know, it's been half a freaking day. I'm tired. I don't, I think I started at 21, I think. I don't remember, but I'm level 28. Level 28 fishing, woo. So, yeah, that's, I ate through a lot of pickled potatoes. Got it done, though. Repair. I should have really kept track of repairs. I think I repaired, like, every 120 fish. So, like, five or six times, there was about 50 repair kits each. I didn't go to town and pay gold. I just crafted repair kits here. And um, I'm kind of low on copper at the moment, so I've, I've been crafting it with the... What is this? The iron... Man, you can tell I'm tired. Iron bar. I forgot what iron bar is called. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, for those that haven't watched my other fishing videos, what you want to do, one, one way to change these fish into more money is to just cook grilled fish. Another way is to, you could cook fish stews. And if you want to make the most money, you would obviously turn the fish into sashimi and then put it in the glowworm boxes. But that requires rice. I only have quality rice. I just... Right now, there's a bug where you freeze when you cook. Apparently, if you push H, you can unfreeze yourself. I haven't tried it, but I'm, I'm way too tired to continue this video. This was a lot of work that I normally don't put into a video, so it really would help me out if you just liked the video. And leave a comment, because I have no social life. And, 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 make sure you're subscribed. Guys, I'm so close to 100k subs. It would be really cool if I got my 100k sub plaque from the Paleo viewers and not the other games I cover. That would be the greatest honor. So please hit the sub button. You can always unsubscribe later. Once I get the plaque, you know, just whatever. Just help me get the damn 100k subscriber plaque. Finally, on the right side of your screen, there's a video you should absolutely click. And if you don't click that video, it's you're going to get caught in sprinklers when you go outside. Like, say you're walking through the parking lot at a grocery store, or maybe you live in apartments, it's going to be one of those moments where you have like a drink in your hand or something and you're walking towards your car or in to wherever you live and then the sprinklers turn on and soak you. So if you don't click the video, that's going to happen to you. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe 10 years from now it'll happen. So you better click it.